Hello, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome, welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness and the highest levels of love light. We're gonna just go a little quantum and do a little um, inflow with the guides right now. So this is meant to be felt, not necessarily understood on a linear basis, although we'll see what comes through. Um, loving this background. This is one of my favorites. Took this um, on a wall somewhere. Maybe it was a ceiling. I'm not sure. Most likely it was a wall. Love the geometry, the stars. <sighs> All right. I'm going to do a little toning. You want to sing along, feel free. Toning just helps to open up the vocal cords. It helps to tune the body, tone the frequency of the body, and kind of shift the energy around the body. Inner and outer. sound to transmit a signal. There are many signals that are being transmitted currently in our currency and the current or the sea or the ocean that we are continually moving through frequency, frequently moving through in this sea frequency, the sea of frequency for we are the frequency. So as we move through this energetic um, portal, if you will, we are tuning into and tapping into a myriad of energies and frequencies that are all around us. How we feel and how we allow ourselves to feel are very important during this time. We are always invited to feel something. And if we are in a period where we feel nothing, nothing, it is important to feel that for nothing is always something. There is an energetic component to all of it. And all of it is what we are all part of. For there is no nothing in this uh, currency, in this energetic ocean, if you will. For even in the darkest, deepest depths of the oceans that are here on our planets and other planets, there is life. Therefore, there is movement. There is energy, there is something, and even the water itself is life. So therefore, we invite you to feel into your own life. We invite you to feel into the life that you are, that you are breathing. Feel into the fact that you are with breath, that you are in the process of breathing in the air, and breathing out that which is taken from within and expelled. We bring this to your attention for many are reflecting currently and finding themselves losing attention on certain topics or subjects and gaining or looking for attention or looking to gain attention and others are turning their attention inward. And we invite you to do the same. For as we turn our attention inward, I'm hearing tune, at tune, uh, we then open to what is being stirred up within, what is being accessed within. We begin to tune into the access points, the axes points, and we begin to access these greater points in dimensional existence. We begin to understand more about our own inner reflections, inner to outer, reflecting back at us, through us, as us, with us, so on and so forth in this oceanic space and energy that we are all sharing. We begin to recognize and hear and feel certain um Mm, pulse points, if you will, that we may not have uh, recognized before or felt a pulse. I'm hearing like 
are you alive? Yes, you're alive. Great. Feel that. And I'm hearing a pulse like when we have a, a finger on the pulse. We sense what's going on. We sense what's causing us to feel uh, a certain way, or we just feel a certain way and allow ourselves to feel that. For as we do this, we begin to line up with more that we have already um, absorbed, we might say. For the absorption rate is high. Many of us are in a space where we have absorbed so much. We have had so much that has come up from within that we feel as if we are wrong dry, if you will. Uh, I'm hearing that's a play on words. I'm hearing dry run, run dry. There's a lot of plays with this. And I'm warming up, you guys, because the energies are huge. Okay, oosh, and I do a little light language and toning. Dia osh uku ku oahe neneke kai ma eshiki kai nukuaha ish ineki. Dia washini. For we are expelling the spell, one might say. We are expelling and letting go of what one might say on a previous day to realize we are here on another day that no longer holds the same anything as it did once before. I'm hearing the sun shall also rise. I'm hearing that we are essentially risen to see yet another day. So here we are now in this moment and I'm just hearing make my day. Okay, be a warm up with this because we are playing with all words. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit here. We are playing with all words in a codex. We are playing with all words that are available within this codex, within this framework, within this code of frequency information that is framed or held within a particular relay or interaction distributed in a certain way through tones and tonalities and word play. Yet we are also recognizing that there are many different words that each of us are attuned to. So each of us will hear a certain string, if you will, of letters, a string of letters that is strung together in the form of a word or a sentence. And within this, this syntax, we begin to tack on different meanings or different memories or meanings that give us a sense of what that word holds together in that lineup, in that syntactual format, plan words. And we begin to tack together a tactile way of referencing many different reference points all at the same time in a convergence within a line, within a reading line, within a written format, if you will, within a form or reference point that allows us to format into a multidimensional way of communication. And we do this through many different portals, if you will, within the human um, application, skin suit, technology, vibration, brain, memory, sight, sound, hearing, feeling, all of it is being used in this type of interaction. So when I say that, I'm seeing a typewriter, I'm seeing this interaction, and I'm seeing feeling, hearing, many different things all at the same time. We invite you to open to these chapters within this wordology. For as we play with this, we gift those who are open to their own gifts of inner knowing, 
to recognize this own stream of inner intelligence that streams through each and every one of us. We may not all communicate in this particular type of pathology on this particular type with this particular wordology or reference to language word plays and adaptations, yet each of us is playing in our own field in our own way of adaptations and we are each tuning into a myriad of references or vantage points or points on a map that stirs up our own inner reference points. We refer to cellular mechanics. We refer to cellular memory. We refer to the inner alchemy that is in the process of moving through this portal in an indefinite number of portals. There is an infinite number of portals, and we are inviting you to let go of the need to define each and every moment of each and every day, and instead refine the own inner alchemy me at play. For as you play with what it is that you say, how it is you use words, what it is that you are seeing as you listen to a particular definition, as you are defining your reality, we invite you to let go of the old definitions and up level into the multidimensional access points that each and every one of you has access to. This requires a bit of play. It requires a bit of imagination. It requires an inquiry, if you will, an inner query, an inner question, an inquiry that allows us to ask, what is it that I wish to see, feel, hear, say, and work with? For this is a medium, if you will. This is a type of mediumship. This is a type of working with a different medium in the sense of creation, artwork, touch, uh, color, sound, word, language, singing. Of course, sound incorporates all of that, but we are referencing a frequency and vibration behind all of this. And as you play with all of this, nothing goes to waste. We use all of our resources in a completely nonlinear way, yet we utilize it in such a way that it allows us to adapt into a linear presentation in a playful sort of way. And so in this way, we are stirring the senses, if you will, and we are inviting you to stir into your own senses. What is it when you step outside that you sense? What is it that you see? Is that all that you see? Can you see more? And as you stare at the medium that is the scenery around you, the craftsmanship, the art, how great thou art, how much can you feel as you step into this form, if you will, this uniform, as you pay attention to what is being informed inside of your body, as you recognize the uh, view all around you, take it in feel it. And as you do this, you begin to communicate with it and it communicates with you at a completely different level. A completely different up leveling begins to occur as you begin to utilize all of the senses in each and every given moment, rather than defining it from a an antiquated system, an antiquated reference point that we can refer back to as different points on the map. And I'm hearing, um, look at how far we've come, right? So we can look back and go, wow, I, and I just had a beautiful conversation with another light worker and dear friend of mine recently, it's just talking about this is how I used to see things, and this is how I see things now. And when we recognize that, we feel different about our entire experience. We are then able to play in, I, I'm seeing Play-Doh. It's like everything becomes a, a fuller presentation and representation. What did represent something to us has a fuller representation when we can feel into the fullness of our experience. And we cannot feel into the fullness of our experience unless we're allowing ourselves to feel into the fullness of the human experience. And I'm going back to what I said in the beginning, which is at certain times, that means we, we feel nothing. To um, honor that and to go in deeper and sense what can I feel? 
Can I feel my toes? Can I feel my skin? Can I feel, and if I could feel, what would it feel like? Asking ourselves the inquiry within, inquiring, inquiring minds want to know, reaching deeper and not settling for nothing. Um, being okay with feeling that way, but being willing to play and say, what would I like to feel? What would make me feel something more enjoyable and be in my heart? What would it feel like if, is it cold? Does that water feel cold? Does the water feel hot? And start small with something like that. What does this fruit taste like? Am I eating an apple? Does it taste sweet? I'm being shown that there's been a disconnect that many people are experiencing right now where they feel as if they're not able to anchor into anything. And this is a completely different, not everyone, some of us are anchored into everything. All points on, right? All these different nodes, I talked about in my previous video that are behind me in this picture. We're feeling all of that, all those lines, all those nodes, everything's opening up. But for some of us, and for some of us at different points in time, we are only feeling a very little amount. And sometimes it's so we can get back to the basics of what that feels like, what that means. How can we explore more? How can we feel more? And it begins with the little things. It begins with us being conscious and aware of ourselves, know thyself. And inviting certain smells into our world, inviting certain tastes into our world. I'm just being shown for people who are feeling just kind of disconnected to unplug from what we usually connect into and go and try something different. Because the energies that are coming in right now, I'm hearing there's something for everyone. It's not like if you haven't done any work, you're not going to feel it. Or if you've done a ton of work, you're not going to feel it. There's something here for everyone. I'm hearing to delight the senses. So that just means that we can honor and recognize wherever we are and then ask ourselves, what do I want? What would feel good right now? Or can I allow myself to feel this? And I'm hearing recognize this too shall pass because nothing is permanent. These energies that we're experiencing, even with all of the activations and downloads or the nothingness, that's not permanent. Clearly, I'm not speaking about someone who's in a very dire strait. If you're in a place where you feel um, like you need to, um, if you feel completely down, ask for help. Go and seek. I'm hearing seek and you shall find. It, it's about that self inquiry. It's looking within and saying, I haven't tried this it, or I've tried this and it hasn't worked. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to do a trip. I'm going to connect with um, an energy healer. I'm going to try um, going and having a beautiful day at the spa. I'm going to go volunteer someplace and help people who are in need more so than I am even, so that I can connect with my own humanity and recognize that we are all capable of uh, so much. I'm just seeing so many things are coming in. And as we allow ourselves to transform from one form to another, I'm hearing all you shapeshifters, we are, and I'm referencing crow right now, the, the crow is a spirit animal, um, shape shifting, moving, being able to seamlessly move from one reality into the next. And what I'm being shown is right now it doesn't feel seamless. And I'll talk about this in another video again, but I'm seeing two huge waves just pushing up against each other like tectonic plates. And what I'm seeing is as this comes up, it looks like this before it looks like this. And we've been through this before. I see this every time we have any type of huge lineups energetically with um, planetary alignments or lion's gate portals or whatever. It's like an extra, we get this extra push and it can feel like this. But if we can soften, 
right? That allows that energy to kind of merge in a much softer way. And it allows things to kind of balance out instead of rigid and, and resistance. And so some of us are, okay, so I'll go back to the word play because they're saying, recognizing that sometimes we're going to have 10 elements that come in and other times we might only have one. And it could be something so big that we're really being asked to, again, I'm hearing stop, drop in. So stop, drop, go inside, and just feel what it is that we are, um, where we are, where we are in our life, where we are in our day, where we are in the words that we're using with ourselves. Are we allowing ourselves to access more? Or are we limiting ourselves because of our limited perception of how we see ourselves, our limited perception of, what, of how we see the world? our limited point of view is beginning to crumble. And sometimes when we have our limitations uh, coming up against unlimited potential, that can be what we're pushing up against too, is what I'm being shown. So I'm being shown there's a lot of people that are being shown a lot of things inside of them that they may see as limitations or limiting, but in actuality, because they're seeing a lot of those things, it's giving them a much bigger opportunity to clear and release those and to see them as, as from a different perspective, which gives us a broader range, which I've talked about before, and gives us the ability to shift our perspective so that we can become more at ease in our own bodies. A lot of what we're experiencing in this resistance is merely is because we haven't uh, come up against, I'm hearing ourselves in the same way before, because we're starting to go, oh, wow, I recognize this pattern and I don't like it. But here I am again. I'm going to allow myself to feel this. I know I'm just kind of going off on a tangent here because there's so much, you guys. It's not just one topic. It's not just one thing. So many things. So as we allow ourselves to tune into the so many things, we are being consciously um, activated. We are now consciously uh, becoming our own um, car and driver, so to speak. We become the ones who are essentially driving this momentum forward. And when we begin to recognize that we are the ones that are the drivers and the vehicles that are being driven, we begin to tune into the higher realms of vision. We begin to move away from division. We see where we have been divided and we begin to move into a higher range where these particular divinations no longer hold the same spells that they once did. In that essence, we become more unified. We become unified at a higher octave or level or sound. And this allows us to perceive a higher range of energy. It allows us to receive at a higher range of energy, a higher rate or variance or variety of energies are then allowed to come in since the floodgates are no longer in resistance but are open. We allow ourselves to unlock and to reactivate Uh, in a very physical way, we begin to move through a particular place in which we felt isolated and we begin to move into a higher place that is above ice, I'm hearing isolates and um, isolation into a soluble and um, movable oscillating frequency pattern that gives us the gift of restorative energies, restoration at its highest mm, elemental exchange. This has everything to do with our own energetic adaptation and ability to roll with the waves, so to speak. I'm hearing roll with the punches, but like roll with it. Roll with it, baby. So, 
this is like a 10 part message. So it's a very multidimensional way of kind of seeing things. So we are now in that space. And where will you oscillate? Will you feel the oscillations and allow yourself to feel the essence of feeling and sensing? and using all the senses to create new sentences, to get out of the old sentence or stream of strung out and strung together letters that no longer hold the same alchemy they once did, no longer hold the, the I'm hearing the lid on our growth. The lid has been blown wide open and we begin to live at a higher decree we begin to live at a higher degree of energy that allows us to create from this, I'm hearing higher oscillate. And I'm gonna play with this for a moment because I'm being called to. I'm gonna keep playing. And so we turn this vocabulary in a different direction and a different degree, if you will, a different variance, and we propose or we tune this into, we turn this into a different type of proposal. And we are in a space, I'm hearing like a marriage proposal, like it's a merge and it's a divine, it's an, it's an um, invitation to merge with yourself to allow yourself to feel this connection with yourself and not feel um, pulled in someone else's. I'm just seeing like, again, it's, it's, it has to do with stability. It has to do with, um, again, I'm hearing oscillation, oscillating waves, uh, connectivity. It has to do with our frequency dynamics which allows us to stabilize the within these currencies. And it doesn't mean we're gonna feel stable all the time, but when we recognize what we're feeling and we don't get caught up in all of this, this wave of, of, of old stuff, we start to kind of work with it, dance with it a little bit, you know, feel into it. We can then integrate it much faster. And um, I'm hearing the corrupt files are then removed. Um, and that's literal as well as figurative. And then we get to restore our system to a higher, I'm hearing, what's that song? Can you take me higher? Um, to a higher connection point. So in that higher connection point, we then shift our, um, it's like, I keep being shown Mario Brothers, right? You're on, you played on this level. Now you're at this level. And so you're up here, but the, 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 enter, the people that are down here can't get up there, right? Because they're not able to, they didn't eat the magic mushroom. And I'm not telling people to eat mushrooms, but I'm talking about Mario Brothers, right? Um, so, well, anyways, I am seeing though, that that represents us being, we're, we're hooking into the mycelium. They're saying play with the whole mushroom dynamic they, my higher self, me, my multidimensional aspect. So we're essentially then linking up to this higher station that gives us the ability to tune into more stations, right? It's like it unlocks all of these other um, sounds that we didn't hear before. And, and what I'm being shown is that it's very much like a radio station. All of a sudden you find this secret station and it opens up to all of this, this whole network that it's not like it hasn't been here. It just hasn't been accessible or as accessible or as accessible. Uh, what they're showing me is that it's like, we might've accessed it here and there, but now it's on all the time. Oh, and, and I'm being called to go into this a little bit more and use my word, uh, my word salad as an, as a, Oh, hey. <laughs> um, so the word salad. So, oh, the word salad. Literally, or my word salad of all my words that I mishmash together. So let's play with that. So I have to listen when I'm, when I'm in flow like that. But I don't listen the same way that I would listen to a one-on-one a, a -on -one conversation. I'm listening with my whole being. 
And I tend to play with words. It's just what I do. Uh, it's kind of like maybe an artist, right? Maybe you, you're an artist. And when you paint, you're seeing what's coming up on the canvas, but you're seeing it because you're seeing it in your mind's eye or your imagination or you're remembering something, right? You could also be copying something from another picture and giving your own perspective on it. But I'm sharing that as an example because what they're saying is all senses on. And there are gonna be people right now that are overwhelmed with what has been dropped into their field. And they're saying that, you know, in this case, just take a deep breath and sit with this for a bit. It's not going anywhere. And um, if it does go somewhere, it wasn't necessarily meant to be in your field for an extended period of time. Sometimes we want to hang on to things. I do this as well. And they're just passing through. They give us enough to get us into a vibratory frequency or space of deeper understanding where we don't need it anymore. That could be a, a guide. It could be... Um, an aha that we have it could be some you know so there's it just depends on what it is it could be friends in our lives right um so they're shown what i'm being shown is there's different connection points that have been established now because of this higher frequency induction induction is what i'm being shown and this higher frequency induction is allowing us to traverse um, landscapes we wouldn't have necessarily had access to before. But in order for us to know that we're in those landscapes or that we have access to them now, um, it, we have to be open and not resist as much as we're used to resisting. So what they're really showing me and what I'm being what I'm seeing in my own mind's eye are people not believing that's a big part of it not being willing to use their imagination being fearful again that means some of those things are going to come up around fear they're going to come up around lack not feeling worthy of receiving information doubting ourselves. A big part of this journey is really trusting the information that's coming through. And you can learn as you do this type of work, whatever that work is, that it a lot of it is based on what you're feeling as you transmit or as as you're um, I'm hearing all kinds of words. It is challenging on certain days to be able to linearly share the messages that are coming through from my uh from my world my reality to your reality so um a lot of people go through this in their own way right transcribe so in order to take that information and transcribe it if we're in a higher frequency where our hearts are really open and we're not we're not in a place of anger or frustration that is a perspective so that's an octave that's a a musical note it's a quality of sound so once that comes through there'll be different layers you know it's just like the art's going to represent different things depending on what the artist is feeling right this doesn't just have to be about channeling or art um, or dance all of these artistic types of presentations. It can be through interpreting um, theories, uh, theories that are philosophical, mathematic, mathematical theories that haven't been proven yet, using that imagination and not um, limiting what the potentials are because we think, well, that's not possible maybe it is we're not in the same reality that we were what what i'm being shown is that we just think we are it looks the same but it has just a different flavor to it if you can allow yourself to feel that it's subtle and that's the other message that's coming through um and once you open that door i have goosebumps everywhere once you open that door 
the subtleties become part of a daily life and they get bigger. So we begin to see more because the door opens wider and wider and wider. And all of a sudden different colors come in, different sounds come in, different lights come in because we are peeling back those layers because we are softening. And I keep seeing a reference to a sponge that, you know, uh, if your sponge is dry and rigid, it doesn't absorb the water. It just beads right off. While we're being invited to soften and to allow ourselves to be more fluid so we can receive more. And what I'm being shown is to recognize that we have received more and to hold that perspective and perhaps even say, well, here I am. This is a completely different world if I allow myself to see it as such. And then things will start to show up in our environment and respond to us um, in that way. All right, so we're gonna talk briefly about this and then I'm gonna end on this note, induction. So what the guides are showing is um, electromagnetic induction, the process of generating an electrical current in a conductor by placing it in a changing magnetic field. Now I wanna just touch briefly on that because um, our magnetic field is changing and based on what we're hearing about with the magnetic field of the earth and in relationship to the sun and as within, so without. So if that's changing, that means it's changing inside of us. And if we are increasing our charge and we're becoming, let's say our density is shifting, we're letting go of energy that's make, made us heavy thought patterns, habit patterns, um, so on and so forth from an, maybe an esoteric level, but everything is quantum and everything is, is energy, right? So it's really a science. It would only make sense that the magnetic field is changing also. Um, a method for creating static electricity in a material by bringing an electrically charged object near it. That's a whole other play of words. A method for charging an object without actually touching it to any other charged object. Um, and all kinds of fun things. Mm. Oh boy, I just went into, down to the rabbit hole. So we will end on this note for this particular chapter of this particular book, if you will. And we are each inviting you to write your own book and to feel the pages as you read your book, as you turn the pages, feel the pen in hand, feel the ink casting the spells on the paper as you share your own journey with yourself, as you visualize um, paths that you have walked on, as you feel the path that you are walking on now, and perhaps compare and contrast the difference um, in, I'm hearing the particle exchange, in where you are now versus where you have been and recognize that you have all that you need in this now moment to be that which it is you are already seeding in the new reality for you have been in this space holding this space for reality would not be in existence if you are um if you were not already in existence with this space so it's a plan words and they're just basically what the the plan words is we are the ones that are holding this reality together so if you are here and you move on your reality changes this reality is no longer your reality so therefore does it exist well maybe yes but not necessarily for you as a part of that soul that has decided to move into a different reality. So they're kind of inviting us to play with those concepts and to really appreciate where we are now in this particular reality, because this is the only time we're going to be here in this reality for time isn't um, necessarily something that we experience in other realities. So it's almost like take it all in, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And also 
feel into the different feelings that this is causing us to, uh, I'm hearing purge and surge. So there's an electrical charge that is happening. And that's part of the reason we're feeling so much. And this is part of the journey. So, okay. I know I threw a lot out there at you. Thank you so much if you made it this far in the video for tuning in and sharing in this word salad with me and um, just have fun co-creating. And I got to tell you, it is um, a very colorful and textured reality that we're all living in. And every day is different. And speaking from experience, if you guys have seen my videos before, we've all been through a lot. I've been through a lot. I'm continuing to go through my own personal uh, stuff, right? As is everyone on this planet uh, and beyond. We're all going through these things and it can be very challenging. And so it's so important that we take the time to document it to feel it, to also allow it to, I'm hearing move on. And that it may take a day, it might take a week, it might take uh, longer than that. But we don't have to hang on to it for as long. And I think many people are gonna find that once um, certain, once we go through certain things or have certain experiences, as challenging as they may be, we may not respond um, in such a heavy way. It might just feel that much lighter. Of course, this depends on the experience. I understand that if it's passing of a loved one or a sickness that is very um, debilitating, it's a very different situation. But I'm talking about our life experiences, breakups, um losing friends you know like they've moved on and no longer want to hang out with us or uh having a rough day having a run-in with someone that maybe we don't get along with those types of experiences maybe even some of the the more serious ones i don't know it depends on the person but if we can allow ourselves to kind of let that move through us we can recognize that a lot has changed and being grateful for that can help us perceive everything in a completely different layer or dimension of reality. That's what brings us to a higher dimension, not us physically moving onto another planet through a spaceship, accessing a higher dimension, although that might be the case too, but that's a whole other can of worms. In love and light, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Namaste.